This is the part of the, the, the process I would imagine is kind of daunting, it's a lot, like you're an actor, not yeah. necessarily like the interviewee, right? Yeah. But it's got to feel kind of good to get back at it this way. It is. It's nice to like, it was definitely like the first few days of press in person. I was like, wait, how do I talk again? Like, what is going on? Um, but no, now I've, I think I've settled into it like a little bit more as much as you ever do. Uh, and it's not, it is nice. To, it is like a daunting moment, but it's also like nice to just like be getting the film out there in the world finally after a long wait. Yeah. And to be playing the villain. Like, it's gotta be, that's a little fun. It's extremely fun. To not have to be like the emotional center of anything or even vaguely likable is is great. Is And this this is a particularly fun villain. Like, he's incredibly sort of bratty and petulant. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It looked like it was so much fun on set. I'm curious though of, of, of the, the experience that you are having uh, playing Weird Al. Like, what's that going to be? I mean, it was one of the most fun experiences I've ever had on a set. Like, Really? Oh, 100%. Like, it was insane, and we had just the most incredible crew and cast. Like, Evan Rachel Wood came in, and Evan Rachel Wood as Madonna is really something the world doesn't know it needs yet, but it needs. Really? Yeah, it's very, she's awesome. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for people to see it. I don't want to say too much about the plot, because I don't think I can yet, but it's very, very, it's, a, it's an amazing script. Tell me about the conversations though that you have you. with the man, Weird Al. Like what like what like are they the are they I can't imagine that they're like regular conversations. I mean that we had some like regular conversations, but like you know, I feel like I did get to nerd out a couple of times. Like there's one of his songs, uh, Bob, which is all palindromes, and I was like getting very nerdy with him about that for a while. I was like, Do you come up with those? Where'd you find them? Um, it was yeah, it was extremely cool. And yeah, to be able to just be like like have ten minutes on set be like, Hey, uh, can I just ask you some super nerdy questions <laughs> is uh, is was very cool. And he was very um, patient with me. He's the man. He's he is the nicest nicest man. He's the nicest yeah. man. Yeah. Okay, so I need you to like Lay it on me straight. Okay. Everybody was talking that it, that, that this, this hair was supposed to go Legends of the Fall, but it's looking very Fabio. It's just... I mean, I, both of these heck, I mean, both of these men look incredible in these photographs. Yes. I mean, Brad, I, that's the very, very cool hairstyle. Channing, I will say, the days he wore that wig, uh, he just, he, he was like he was imbued with just like a different spirit entirely. <laughs> he was just, there was the something. The hair did yeah. something different. He walked differently, uh, held himself differently. I think, yeah, I think anyone would when, you, when you've got I that I mean, when all of that happens. Yeah. Right? <laughs> who do you think, who do you think, I mean, I, I hate to ask you, but like wore it better. I'm going to do it. Well, I, I'm sure Brad's lovely. I didn't get to meet Brad on this one. I got to work with Channing a lot, so I'm just going to go with, uh, with the bias of, of knowing somebody and go Channing. Channing. Oh, Channing. Yep. That's not gonna wait till I tell Brad. Tell wait till I tell Brad. Oh,